Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have another great Silhouette Studio tutorial. Now, if you like Silhouette Studio tutorials, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because we always have great ideas for you guys. But today, I am showing you how to set up and create your own digital scrapbook in Silhouette Studio. All right guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio and I'm really excited to show you how you can use common everyday digital elements to create your very own scrapbooking layouts. Now let me say that Creative Fabrica does have a selection of um, pre put together digital scrapbook kits and you can absolutely use those. But I think sometimes, you know, when I think of scrapbooking, I think of the creativity involved and um, I like to use uh, you know, colors that are bright and be able to customize them the way that I like. So we're going to use a combination of sticker clip art and digital papers and digital washi tape combined with some cute little photos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull my page over here because I want to be able to start aligning my elements over here. So I'm going to go ahead and open a file explorer window. And this is my downloads folder. And you can see here's my digital paper, my digital washi tape, and my happy birthday stickers, okay? And then all the way up here at the top, I have two photos that I wanna use. And what I wanna show you is I'm just going to drag and drop these over here into Silhouette Studio. Now, of course, once you bring them in, especially, um, you know, photos, they come in rather large. So just temporarily, we're going to go ahead and group those. We're going to make those a more manageable size. Okay. I'm going to bring up our file explorer window again, and I'm going to come back down to our elements. Let's go ahead and start with our, um, our fun paper. Now I have already unzipped these. They all came in a zipped format. So unzipping them and then you can see, um, you know, all the different backgrounds that you have to choose from. So ones that call to me are going to be like this one here is really pretty. I also like this one. So I think I'm going to go with the crisscross and once again, just pull up the Explorer window again. And now let's go back to our washi tape. Now I have two pictures and I just envision using the washi tape, you know, to mimic like, oh, I happen to tape the pictures on there. Okay, so I want them to contrast with both the paper and with the photos. So I'm gonna choose this pink one here and we can grab two of those. And then let's do the polka dots. And just in case we'll grab, you know what? We'll grab these. Then it's time for our sticker clip art. And I'm gonna do the Happy birthday to you, of course. We'll do the woohoo and hooray, and we'll do the have fun. And we don't have to use these all, but I like to go ahead and bring them in. That way I have them available to me um, when I want to use them, okay? So we have our background, our stickers, and our washi tape. So let's go ahead and bring these over here. While I'm doing this, I wanna say the reason that I like digital scrapbooking is because um, actual manual uh, paper scrapbooking can be um, very overwhelming. And for me, it's exhausting. Um, I feel like while I absolutely love the idea of, you know, memorializing my memories and things like that, like especially this one, this is a birthday, um, at the same time, by the time I get done, I've spent six hours and uh, I'm not even always any farther along with my project than I was to begin with. So um, I like the digital scrapbooking. It works better for me. And then you can either save this to a digital album, which is really cool, or you can send it off to be printed. Um, or if you have a wide format printer, like Epson has some good ones, you can actually just print out these pages, trim them down and add them to a traditional scrapbook um, portfolio or, you know, scrapbook album. So completely up to you. But I do remember reading because I'm not a professional scrapbooker by any means. I do remember reading saying that scrapbooks are not photo albums. So definitely try to remember that, um, you know, when you're setting this up, you want to pick just a photo or two. And this is, so what we do, my daughter's birthday is actually in January. 
Um, so we usually do a girl's day in January. And this time she wanted to, of course, go to Build-A-Bear. Um, and we happened to see one of those really expensive candy shops. So <laughs> we had to go in there too, right? Um, but what we do is we do a little girl's day and then we have a party once the weather gets better. Because there's not a lot, you know, Florida has a lot of really great weather starting in about March. So there aren't a lot of like indoor party places for kids. All right, so let's size these down. I keep sizing them down and zooming in. So um, one thing that I want to do, I want to feel like I'm matting my photos. So I am going to do some offsets. So let's do an offset. And we'll just do 0.1. And I'm going to do square corners. And I can fill that with, um, I really like to be able to, to grab colors. So let's just start off with the pink here. And this one offset, I'm gonna do them the same, 0.1, square corners, and we're gonna fill that with the same color too. Okay, so let's go ahead and group those two together. Not the pictures, but the picture and the offset. There we go. And then, like I said, I want to use this washi tape to mimic, um, you know, taping the photos in here. So that one doesn't stand out very much. I have a, an idea these polka dot ones probably won't either. But these cute little pink ones, they look, they look all right. And then let's do, yeah, that doesn't stand out at all. We will use these two here. And I'm going to rotate them a little bit. I'm going to do one right across here and one right across here. All right, so we can delete that washi tape. And then we can do our little happy birthday. And you can do offsets of these two. As a matter of fact, if I want, let's move that washi tape. We'll do our happy birthday here. And I'm just going to arrange these stickers kind of like I would, um, you know, if, if I was trying to scrapbook. And of course, there's always a little bit of hem hawing because, you know, you want to be able to add elements. But it's and I think this is what takes the longest with scrapbooking is being able to, um, you know, envision what you want it to look like. So I'm going to add some basic shapes as well. I'm just going to make that 12 inches wide. And let's grab another fun color. How about this blue? And of course, I'm changing all of my line colors to transparent. And let's do an offset to this as well. And then I also want to make this 12 inches wide. And we can grab a yellow. Hmm, I want a brighter yellow. So let's switch those around because the yellow didn't have very much contrast. Okay, so then it's just a matter of you know, rearranging. I may switch out this background. The background might be too busy um, for what I'm doing. So let's go back and um, let's check out what other backgrounds we have. So that one's a little bit more fun. I like that a lot. So now it's just all about aligning everything. But I feel like we've done a pretty good job just adding in some really cute, like I said, what I consider everyday elements. And these are files that I can use for just about anything. Okay, so there is my little digital scrapbook page. And really in the matter of about 10 minutes, I made just a cute little layout. And like I said, I am not a professional scrapbooker, so please don't judge my layout too harshly. Um, but I think it's cute. You know, there are, of course, other elements that you could add in. You know, you could grab different washi tape, but you can mix and match all the great elements that you already um, know and love on Creative Fabrica to make these cute little layouts. And even if you're not into scrapbooking, you can get 12 by 12 frames. And, um, and I like to use that to commemorate um, you know, even just like special craft events that I do, um, you know, if I do something in person, then one of our projects that we do is I have these elements already made up and then we just insert photos we take at the event. So lots of really great reasons why you would want to learn 
um, to use a little bit of digital scrapbooking. And like I said, if you're more comfortable using a kit, there are kits that are already available. Um, and they're really great. They're really great kits. But uh, I really like being able to use elements either I already have or just that I feel like are more customizable. So, but for today, this is our digital scrapbook demonstration in Silhouette Studio. So guys, how did you feel about learning how to make your digital scrapbook layouts in Silhouette Studio? Now I kept focusing on the digital aspect of it, you know, telling you you could save them, you could have them printed as is, but guys, you can actually use your print and cut feature also to print those elements out, like the little stickers, um, you know, like the pictures and the mats, you can cut all that out with your cutting machine also. And that's a great way to blend the two aspects to be able to set up in Silhouette Studio and still have your traditional scrapbooking. But I do love the digital format of it. I love being able to save those. I can put them in an online album. I don't have to worry about keeping up with any type of scrapbook. Um, and like I said, you know, if I want to have them printed, I can. Actually, what I plan to do is to collect all of those. And when my kids turn 18, just go ahead and put them in an actual book. So super exciting, you know, all the plans we make, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. Hopefully you found it useful. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys and just make sure you have subscribed to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you these really awesome and new videos. But for today, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you again next time.